This time. This time the last time. It was on an album he had produced outside the control of RCA. Soon other country artists began to demand the same creative control that Waylon had won. It was always a pain when you dealt with Neil, but that's what Neil get paid for. Neil was exactly what we needed. I loved it, so he was really an avenging angel for us. And that's what it took. Waylon Jennings' career began to soar. Record sales skyrocketed. In 1973, he released what would become a classic country album, Honky Tonk Heroes. Talk Heroes is, I think, next to Redheaded Stranger, the second best country album ever made, probably. All of a sudden, Waylon Jennings was, was making big money for records. They were talking about million dollar country record deals, and, and, and they never talked about that level before. Over the next 10 years, Waylon Jennings would have 14 number one songs, including collaborations with another Neil Russian client, who had also begun to flex his creative muscles. Willie Nelson. And through teardrops and laughter, they'll pass through this world and Woo. This good heart and woman and love with a good time and man. In 1976, Waylon and RCA put together the first platinum selling album in the history of country music, Wanted the Outlaws. With Waylon, Jesse Coulter, Willie, and Tom Paul Glazer on the cover, the rebellious spirit of the outlaw movement descended full force onto country music. <laughs> 